I've got a request to make a ground effect vehicle using the power up. So I'll make it out of styrofoam plates. few modifications. I've trimmed the fuselage away as much as I dare to make it lighter but at the same time I've had to add some weight at the very front to keep the nose down. I've put fresh batteries in the charger and we've come into the dining room which has a fairly shiny floor because it was struggling on my kitchen floor which well it isn't as shiny as this. So Let's see what we can do. Well, that worked. I've lifted the carpet in my dining room. So I've got a little bit more distance to go on the shiny surface. Still can't go very far, but uh, might be able to see the detail anyway. That worked. Let's try and film it from the opposite direction.
summary time. What have we got? We've got a ground effect vehicle or an ecrano plane. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Ground effect vehicle is much easier to say. Styrofoam plate. Uh, it's actually, I think it was three styrofoam plates I used there. Got the power up just taped to the top of it with masking tape so it's easy to take apart again and doesn't damage my power up. Fresh batteries in the charger so we get the best out of it. And it works. I don't have enough room to demonstrate it properly and you need a very shiny floor for it to go. Otherwise there's too much friction under the wing tips for it to get moving. Once it's moving and it builds up the cushion of air underneath, then it's fine. And as you'll see in that last clip, uh, we actually took off at the end and hit the camera. So, a success. But please don't ask me to do another one of these ground effect vehicles. I don't like them. It's too much fuss and I don't have enough room to demonstrate them properly. Either that or you go much bigger and you do it outdoors and I don't want to go much bigger and do it outdoors. So job done.